and he saith unto them, The wicked shall be punished. The wicked shall be punished. Their poison is like the poison of serpents, but they shall feel the gall of asps within them. How many times have I stood on this pulpit and warned you, cautioned you again and again, a house divided against itself cannot stand. A kingdom divided against itself can be brought to desolation. If you are an enemy to one another, then you are an enemy to God. Am I reaching out to you? Do you understand my words? Well, week after week, I stand here reaching out to you and begging you to understand, yet week after week, the same wickedness persists, the same dissension, the same belligerence, the same fuming, until you are 10,000 times more abominable in the eyes of God and the most hate, venomous, violent, vicious. You, what are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Um, I mean, I was looking for you. Uh, Polly sent you this. What is it? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry I disturbed your practice. Would you like someone to practice your sermon on? No. No thank you, child. Mother and I used to be an audience to my father when he was practicing his sermons. He was a minister too, you know. Yes, yes, so he was. Do you like being a minister? Do I like being... Now, why in the world would you ask a thing like that? Well, the way you look just then reminded me of my father. Once I saw him sort of sad like that, and I asked him. Well, what did he say? Said he was glad he was. Although it made him sad sometimes, when he just couldn't seem to get through to his congregation. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I suppose every minister of God faces the same problems. Mm, I suppose. Tell me, did your father ever solve the problem? Well, he said he read something one day that said it helped him. In the Bible? No, just something he read someplace. He had it put on this train. He wore it always. It's all I have of his. When you look for the bad, oh, it always makes me cross-eyed. May I? Mm. When you look for the bad in mankind, expecting to find it, you surely will. Abraham Lincoln. He was the president. Yes, yes, I know. But I'd never heard that before. Neither had my father. Anyway, he said it started in thinking. And from then on, he was going to look for the good in people. That's when we started searching the Bible for the texts. The texts? Yes, you know, my father found the glad passages. You know, the happy ones, like, uh, shout for joy, or be glad in the Lord, you know, like that. There are 800 happy texts. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yes, well, there are. And my father said that if God took the trouble to tell us 800 times to be glad and rejoice, he must have wanted us to do it. Oh, well, I'd better be going now. I'm sorry I disturbed your practicing. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye, child.